Ten-year-old Jakob Christiansen is being scanned to determine his body's fat content. He weighs 72 kilos, at least 20 too many. Jakob is bullied at school, has been comfort eating sweets in secret and has been depressed. I want the doctor to help with Jakob's overweight so he can be a happy boy again. Jakob says he cycles three kilometers to school, but exercise alone is not enough to overcome what the doctor calls this chronic disease. Jakob is signing up for an innovative program that goes beyond traditional treatments by requiring numerous behavioural changes to defeat the body's natural resistance to losing fat. Children and families need to do at least 10, 15, 20 items in their daily lives. Otherwise, the obesity will persist. And then people are getting frustrated, very sad, and then they are lost. The Danes advocate state intervention to tackle this worldwide crisis and they believe that every nation should set up a framework to deal with the issue. They calculate that only five and a half hours professional treatment per child per year should lead to a 70% success rate. The time children can spend on computers or watching television is restricted. Some are glued to the screen for 12 hours a day. The limit, say the doctors, should be two. Eating sweets is permitted just once a week. Fibre-rich foods replace those with high levels of sugar and fat. An earlier bedtime is set. Good sleep is linked to better eating habits. It's going to be really tough, says Jakob, but I'll fight as hard as I can. And here's inspiration. 14-year-old Mike Nilausen once weighed 85 kilos. He's now a standard bearer for the project. He's shed 22 kilos and is maintaining the weight loss, no longer the target for playground bullies. It was extremely hard to see him like that. We tried everything, but he just kept on gaining weight. So when it finally started to work, we were really happy. At supper time, Mike has one portion where once there were three. He's reduced his fat and sugar intake and relishes his newly discovered energy. To begin with, it was hard, but then it became a part of my daily routine, and it's much easier. A limited time lying in front of the TV is acceptable, but the daily routine changes help both children and their parents and reduce the risk of diseases associated with obesity. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Holbeck.